Hey everybody, Kevin here with Kevin's Way Works. I just wanted to put out an updated video on how to check the valve clearances on your Kohler engine because I realized in the previous video that you could not see me turning the flywheel, so it wasn't really clear as to what position I was in while I was checking for top dead center. So get ready, and I'll show you guys how to do this Kevin's way. So the first thing we have to do is make sure we are at top dead center of the compression stroke. Make sure you have both your spark plugs removed, and what we're going to do is watch to see when our intake valve starts to open. That means that we are on the intake stroke, and we're also going to then put our finger over the spark plug hole, and we're going to feel for compression. So after the intake opens and starts to close, and right as it closes, it's going to start compressing those gases, which means we are at the compression stroke. And then we just need to get it to top dead center of that stroke. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to put my finger over the spark plug hole. I'm going to watch the rockers. So right now, we are actually at the compression stroke. I'm going to pass by it just to show you how this works. So right now, our exhaust is opening. That means we just had a combustion. And it's letting the exhaust gases out. Now our intake is opening, which means it's pulling in the air-fuel mixture. So this is our intake stroke, and now it's closing, and we should start feeling compression. All right, it's compressing the gases. I can feel it on my thumb, and it has just stopped compressing. So you can also see that our magnet here just passed the magneto, which means it just fired. So we had just started the power stroke, which means we just went past the top dead center. So I'm going to readjust it back just a little bit. And, you know, we have our, our loose rocker arms, but I'm going to take a pencil also. I'm going to stick it in the hole where the spark plug goes. I'm going to back it up a little bit so you saw the pencil go down. I'm going to come back up. Pencil's coming up. Now it's starting to go down again. So right about there, right about there, is the top dead center of the compression stroke. So we are now at top dead center of the compression stroke, so we can start gapping. So now what we're going to do is take our 0.005 feeler gauge, put it down in the gap between the rocker arm and the valve. And so right now we've got, we've got a little bit of a drag on it. So I'm going to tighten up the center. I can tell you right now it moved while I was doing that. So let's tighten up the center. Okay, I'm going to tighten up the center where it is now. So I'm just going to hold the nut in position. And I'm going to tighten this down. You don't have to go super tight right now. We're going to torque it. So we're going to take our 0.005 again. And I can tell you right now that feels too loose. Take your 0.06. And 006 won't go in. Yeah, I mean, it goes in, but it's, it's pretty tight. No, that's actually pretty loose now that I feel it. So let's tighten that up just a hair. Specs say between 0.004 and 0.06. Let's tighten this up just a tiny, tiny bit like that. Let's tighten this down. Okay, let's try 0.05 again. So now we're a little, little tiny tight, little tiny tightness. It's a little tight. It's got a little more drag than I would want. Let's go to the 0.004. I thought I had a 0.004. Where is it? It's hiding. There it is. It's hiding. All right, so 0.004. So we've got drag on 0.004. Our 0.005 is a little tight.
You could call that good if you want. I'm just gonna loosen it up just a hair. Loosen it up just a hair. Let's see what we have now. I'm gonna start with the 0.004. All right, 0.004 is loose. So let's try our 0.005. Now, I think we loosened it up a little too much. Let's go ahead and tighten it back just a hair. It's a very fine line between too tight and too loose. All right, I like that. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and torque that one. Torque specs, 70 inch pounds. Torque wrench, 70 inch pounds. Not foot pounds, inch pounds. So I'm just gonna gently hold this while I torque this. Seventy inch pounds, and we'll just give it one final check with the feeler gauge. It's going to tighten up a little bit, probably. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect, guys. So our intake is now clearance to specification. Let's go ahead and do the exhaust. It's going to start again with the .005. That's a little loose. Go ahead and finger tighten that right about yay. That feels pretty close, so I'm gonna to try to hold this just with my fingers, tighten that center just a bit, and then I'm gonna double check it, and then we're gonna give it a tightening with the wrench. A little loose. Let's check that. A little too tight. Right about, right about there. Feels pretty good. Let's just hand hold this and tighten it down. Okay. Let's give that a torque, 70 inch pounds. Okay guys, they both feel about the same. I've got a little drag on 0.005, just like I like. So we're gonna call those done. So both of those valves are now clearance to specifications. And if you want to, you can give it a final rotation, exhaust open, intakes opening. It is now about top dead center and I'm just gonna go by the magnet here. So the magnet is right about where it needs to be to be at top dead center. And then we can do one final check. All right, those feel good guys. And one last thing, if you want to, you can go ahead and just double check your torque. So we're torqued to 70 inch pounds. We're good to go. Well, there you have it, everybody. That is how you set the valve clearances on your Kohler engine. Hopefully you guys found that useful and you'll be able to use it to set the valve clearances on yours as well. Be sure to check out my other Kohler engine related videos. There's one in there to show you guys how to install the valve cover, which would be the next step in the process. So I hope that was helpful, and I thank you guys for joining me on Kevin's Way Works. Uh -oh.